हेलो एवरी वन आई एम नवल गेमुल वेलकम बैक टू माई यूट्यूब चैनल डेटा मास्टर इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू सी हाउ टू क्रिएट और हाउ टू डिप्लॉय योर अजूर ओपन ए आई सर्विस इन योर अजूर पोर्टल सो यू कैन कम टू पोर्टल डॉट अजूर डॉट कॉम एंड यू कैन जस्ट सर्च फॉर दी अजूर ओपन ए आई हेयर अजूर ओपन ए आई एंड यू कैन क्लिक ऑन इट एंड वंस यू आर क्लिक ऑन इट यू कैन सी we will be creating a new azure open ai service you can just click on this plus button or you can click here to get started so once you click on it you will be getting a tab which will ask you the details about the basic then it will go for the networking tags and review plus submit so if you want to start using azure open ai in your azure portal first you need to fill out fill out the microsoft form where you need to give all the details like what azure serve, open ai service you want to use it so i have already filled that form and now i can create an azure open ai service in my subscription so i have two subscriptions here one is azure pass and the pay as you go model so i can create an azure open ai on both these subscriptions so when we fill out that microsoft form it will ask you on which subscription do you want to enable that azure open ai you can give two three subscription ids also on top of it so it's really a simple two three steps and once microsoft allows you to use an azure open ai then you can start creating it so now i already have it so now let me start it so i have choose the subscription as azure pass and i'll use a resource group i'll create a new resource group and saying that data master ai so i'll create data master ai as one of the resource group and i'll be choosing east us region you can choose whichever you are comfortable with and i want to give a name so let me give a data master as a azure open ai service and now when it comes to pricing tier let me keep it as standard so so we have a full details of the pricing on this link so maybe i'll show that the pricing details in the next video guys now let us just deploy it and we will talk about the pricing and all those things in detail in the next videos so you can just go to next and it will validate it and if we, if the validation is successful then we can start creating it yeah i think the validation has done let me just click on create so it will take few minutes to deploy it yeah it took almost one or two minutes to deploy and you can see your message or a notification saying that your deployment is complete i'll just click on this go to resource and you should see a new resource that is your data master the name of the resource or azure open ai resource is a data master and you can just open a or click on the azure open ai studio you can go it from here or you can build a generative ai apps by using an azure ai studio You, this uh, it's still in preview but you can use it so let me click on this build an azure open ai studio which is in preview and also let me click on this go to azure open ai studio let me show you how it looks like yeah so you can see here this is your azure open ai studio so from this open ai studio you can start building your own gpt model so we have an options like chat then we have an options called play, playground and we have a management deployment here so you can deploy a new model here so what i'll do guys i'll keep this video uh, till here like creating an azure open ai uh, service inside an azure portal and once you are here then we'll go for the second part 2 of this video explaining you what are the azure components what are playgrounds what are the managements and how you can build your own gpt kind of model and then the next playlist or the next video would be based on the azure open ai studio also okay thank you guys thank you for watching this video i hope you enjoyed it if you like the video or the content please like the video subscribe to my channel thank you guys see you again in the next video bye bye